Hey there, it's Q, and welcome back to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. And today, I am trying to get image effects uh, onto my various Amigas. Now, one of the things uh, I do is when I get software, especially when you, you pay for it, is there, let me check to see if there's a serial number in here first. Okay, yeah, there's no serial number. So, uh, it comes in this cool little DVD pack and then yes it is and actually it's a dvd now uh none of my amigas have dvd drives except for the one cd32 and uh it doesn't have like a micro sd card or network connection none of them are networked either now i could maybe put the disc in the cd32 if this is compatible it probably is and then actually copy the files from it to the compact flash on the CD32, pull the compact flash out, and then walk it over to the various Amigas that have compact flash, like the 1200, and get it installed that way. And then of course take that compact flash card and bring it into my trusty, cheap, pawn store sourced Asus laptop, which serves as my uh, gateway to Link Amiga World and non-Amiga world lands. So this laptop, in addition to having the USB two ports that are precious, has the DVD drive. So I'm going to put this DVD in here and uh, ho hopefully I guess just copy the files off it. And then I'm going to test it over here in WinUAE with my cloned WinUAE install and see if all goes well. Always test. <laughs> Okay, we're back, and yes, I can tell you that one of the things you need to always do is uh, uh, read the README, and that will tell you once you've copied the image effects files from the uh, CD to your computer, you you that's you gotta read this, and then you're gonna run install forty five. Uh, it cannot be installed from the CD or from floppies. So don't try and get creative, just read the instructions and follow them. So that's what I'm gonna do is go through and get this installed. And uh, I'm sure it'll take a little bit because it looks like it's a lot of stuff. All right, so I thought I should step in here because once it finished installing, which went by really, really quick, uh, you have another option to install other hooks and modules. And when I ran that, it came up with this. So here's where you have the ability to pick what processor you're going to be running this on. Now, my Amiga 1200 has the 060 in it, and the emulated WinUE environment has the 060 in it. So I will be installing the 060 version. Obviously, you can click the button for all versions, or you can rerun this installer later if that changes. Just be, just be aware of that. When you install the main program, there's a little bit more to do after that. All right, so it finished installing, and keep in mind this is an HDF file type uh, WinUAE setup, so it's not doing the Windows to Amiga folder conversion to directories, it's just using a hard file in WinUAE. And I went through the whole ImageFX install process, and it did indeed, inst first off it said it was gonna install everything into a folder, and it didn't, it actually put it in the root of work. And as you can see, I've got this JStream guide, MPEG, Rex, help, and modules and hooks but there's no image effects program actually installed. And I hunted all, all over onto the uh, workbench drive as well, and it's not there. So it, it, I don't know where it installed it. I saw it copy a bunch of stuff, but I don't know where it all went. So I'm gonna go through the installer again and click much slower this time. Okay, so there's still some weirdness going on. It, it once again did not uh, I, I created my own image effects folder and told it to install there and, and and sure enough it did and but again it it's not copying over the program modules or it's not expanding them and actually installing them there's something wrong with us something very very wrong with us so i went ahead into dopus found the lha called program and then extracted it into ram disk i am now going to attempt taking well, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but I'm going to extract it into the image effects folder now. So let's see what happens. Go down to program. We're going to arc extract that. 
So there it is. Um, very, very weird. So now if I open up the image effects folder, okay, and there's a bunch more stuff in there. But there's still no program for me to click and run like image effects. That is really bizarre. I mean, there's an image effects. Okay, so that was hidden and not a very, I don't know, that icon was kind of bizarre, wasn't it? So we've got Picasso and we'll pick 800 by 624 bit. See if that does something. Okay, well that got us into the program. That was really strange. So yeah, I had to do a show all file. Well, I had to copy it over as I showed you, unpack it manually, and then do a show all files because I didn't create the icon. And then I was able to run it. Now that's interesting. I mean, I mean, I don't know if that's a, a if there's a bug with the OS 3.2, but I know this is the newest version of Image Image Effects, and it's been up to date. Uh, yeah, it's got a copyright of 2020, but that makes it a little more wonky than the last version that came out like in 92, because that actually just installs normally, and you get an icon, and you can click and run. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, I'm yeah. Prep's gonna work. Okay, so that this this does come up. So I'm not sure what's happening. I um, was thought this would be a fairly straightforward video of me just uh, installing Image Effects and then and then showing you something. I have a uh, what does this say? It says load new. So yeah, something plus all the scaling on the icons is really weird and strange. Um, if I go down here and click open, nothing's opening up, and I, I wouldn't doubt that that's the case because I, I mean, if I had to manually extract like the programs, who knows what else is not actually properly connected? I mean, there was other LHA files in there, so there's definitely an issue with um, if you purchase Image Effects and then copy all the files off the disk and read the README and do what it says to do. Uh, it's not working properly. It's got some weirdness. So if anyone has any tips out there, um, please leave uh, those in the description or not the description. Please leave those in the comments below. Uh, and I uh, will go ahead and also ping the uh, Commodore Amiga Facebook group, of course. And uh, maybe we'll we'll revisit this again because I did want to see uh, this more modern version of image effects and how it would handle my animations. I've been using Art Department Professional, but as cool as it is, it is lacking because it's not been updated, whereas ImageFX has been updated. And it can work with my VLAB card, it can load DPS PAR files, and it can also load and save more modern uh, PC, Windows, and uh, Mac OS type file formats. So it's very, uh, it, I really do want to learn how to use it so I can stay, you know, <laughs> up to date in the Amiga world, right, uh, with this uh, retro 3D animation stuff. Thanks for watching.